Well, more than a dozen people lost their jobs as a community fixture in South Royalton is no more. For decades, Eaton's Sugar House has welcomed hungry diners for breakfast, including its maple syrup. But now the family-owned establishment has burned down. Local 44's Mike Coey was there today, and, and we're hearing um, tonight that police are calling this suspicious. So, Mike, what do we know? Well, Lauren, you're right about that. Likely one of the reasons why no one we met at the scene wished to appear on camera. Several members of the Eden family were even part of that group. However, one man living nearby tells us he put out another fire at the Sugar House before the fire that destroyed it. The smell of fresh maple syrup on Route 14 in South Royalton replaced by the smell of ashes. My children were very upset. This is one of our favorite places to stop in the morning. They were a wonderful group, always had a pleasant experience, and um, we're very sorry that, that we're not going to have this available to us anymore. The man you just heard spoke with us on the condition that he remain anonymous. He tells us a while before the Halloween night fire that destroyed Eden's Sugar House, his daughter and son saw what turned out to be a fire on the front steps. We weren't sure if it was a Halloween effect or not. It wasn't. The witness says while his wife called firefighters, two other passersby gave him a dog blanket to use. And I was able to stamp out the, the fire and pull the steps away from the restaurant. After that unidentified bystander jumped into action right there on the front steps, he wonders if whoever set the first fire came back to finish the job. He thinks that because 60 to 90 minutes after the man and his family finished speaking with authorities. We heard a number of different trucks coming down the road and we were in fear that maybe the fire had restarted or some other nefarious act. Investigators have ruled the cause of the fire that eventually destroyed the restaurant undetermined but suspicious. And they say whoever started the initial fire on the steps used gasoline to do it. No one was hurt. Now, the chief of the Royalton police was unavailable today for comment. She's one of the people you can call if you know more about all of this. We'll have a list of them for you tonight on our website, myshamplainvalley.com. And also, there's a reward of up to $5,000 if your tip leads to an arrest. Live in the newsroom, Mike Hoey, Local 44 News. Mike, thank you. Police have arrested a Rutland man.